I am liking it. I'm good for it. I like what it looks like. I like how sharp that seems. That black and orange kind of looks good for me. Anyway, I see myself. I hear myself. That means that we are locked in and live. Ready and recording. So welcome back in, everybody. This is the live stream Let's Play of MLB The Show 16 as we continue to follow this road of the show career of one Casey Braxton, now a San Francisco giant. Uh, opening day coming up here, start of the 2023 season. That's going to be fun. And yeah, remember, we were kind of looking at the training points and all that stuff after spring training. Um, don't have that two-seamer locked in yet. Stream elements, thank you for that. Opening day 2023, coming in. Coming in hot. Um, yeah, where I was thinking, like, do I really need break on all of this stuff? Maybe not right away. I don't think that's as important. Now, I did that. That didn't cost too much. I mean, those are all 100 numbers at the at the time. Or in its spot, you know, it's what it's doing. Speed, to, where can I put speed? Oh, geez, that's it right there. I can do 83, so let's just call that a flat 80. Now, I did steal a base in spring training. To get this to 68, we do 85. Which uh, might be doable. And again, I don't know how realistic this is to do. Because to get 68 here... Eh, okay, 60. So 80 and 65, that's not terrible. But that wastes all of my points. Now, if I was thinking anything else batting, and I don't know, I, I have been thinking, I don't know, maybe more contact, I don't know. Uh, but for here, definitely bring in a two-seamer, right? I've been thinking that... And the speed and the stealing thing, I mean, we'll, we'll kind of have to see how things play out. But uh, for right now, because we were doing spring training, let's just look. It's the Braxton. It's a uh, veteran pitching. So we did up that. We are good there. Uh, yeah, and as I sit here, today being 10-13, hey, it's Sammy Hagar's birthday for all you rock fans out there. <laughs> it's also my girl's mom's birthday, as a matter of fact, so... Got her a little gift, got a card and all that stuff. It is, uh, it's an early Wednesday morning here. It's about 8.30 in the morning for me. And uh, as I sit here, the Atlanta Braves advanced uh, in the Divisional Series beating the Brewers. And the Astros advanced beating the White Sox. So, the Red Sox already advanced. There'll be Red Sox-Astros in the American League Championship Series. The Giants lost last night to the Dodgers, so that forces a decisive final Game 5 uh, a, a NLDS, which will take place tomorrow, a winner to take on the Atlanta Braves. So, it's like I'm a little torn, just the way that the teams have kind of been... Well, what's been going on? I mean, for some reason I have this, this newfound love for the Giants. Um... It's like I've been paying attention more, even when they had their three World Series run. I mean, I liked Lincecum, I liked Buster Posey, all those guys, Brandon Belt, you know, uh, Bruce Bochy being the skipper, I believe that was him. If I'm wrong on any of this, it just shows I wasn't totally watching. But, like, good for them, they kept winning and winning and winning. They kind of went into the skids. Uh, just, uh, just the road grays, the start, yeah, let's just do the road grays. Nothing fancy, nothing too crazy. When does the orange bill come into play? For home games? Yeah, apparently apparently we're not a good batting team. So this uh, this is going to be different. Trout and Myers. Okay, they got a couple names. Uh, Drew Smiley, of course, still there. Good for him. Joe Panic, Castellanos, uh, Brandon Belt. Okay. Some names I kind of recognize. All good. But anyway, like when the Giants were good, that... that that dynasty of three World Series. I wasn't really watching as much, wasn't totally paying as much attention. Um, and now here I am like, oh, they've hit the fountain of youth, they're kind of winning again. But but even still, let's just take them and the Dodgers out, because the Dodgers have been great for so long, and they won the World Series last year. Led the NL in wins last season, also was the MVP. Um, but for all of that stuff that was going on, um, then you look, okay, Boston has been good and has been winning. So it's like the last available team that I feel that I want to do something is the Atlanta Braves, who, now granted, when I was younger, during the 90s, they were they just kept winning the division, 
you know, you get to some World Series, you only win one. But I was kind of... Like, right now, because they, they, they kind of... Not that they tank, but after Chipper Jones, here comes the Freddie Freeman era, right? It kind of ebbs and the flows, but now a good young core. Granted, Ronald Acuna Jr. is out injured. Uh, that's why they traded to get Jock Peterson from the Cubs. And, and he's paid some dividends here, even in the playoffs. You, you literally cannot replace one player with the next. That's no disrespect to Jock Peterson. Um, but what everything that Ronald Acuna Jr. brings to the table cannot be the same that Jock Peterson brings to the table. Now, I'm sure most people would say, like, if Jock Peterson got hurt and someone traded to bring in, you know, they, they bring in Okunia as a replacement, like, oh, that's awesome. You know, I'm, I'm sure they would look at that as kind of a, maybe an upgrade. Fine, I get it. But you literally can't replace the player for what they bring to the table. So, a great replacement. But, like, if Atlanta can win without him, I think it's kind of like, wow, that's bizarre. But they are, Atlanta is kind of my, my, my team to... They're my hopeful team to win. Now, they have to get past the Giants and... Well, sorry, the Giants or the Dodgers. And then they got to get past Boston or Houston. Again, I don't think they are there. It's like Atlanta and Milwaukee are a little bit of the same team. Where it's like, you're right there. You're on the cusp. You're not the team yet. And it just depends on age and contracts and, you know, who stays, you know, after this season, etc. There's a lot that can happen. The Dodgers have maintained maintained for so long. The Giants had that great run. They fell down a bounce-back year now. So I can see where people are like, eh, we've seen them win. Boston, boy, they've been good since, you know, since the Yankees really picked it up uh, towards the mid and late 90s. The, you know, the Red Sox had to up their standards to get to that point where they, they were solid. But then they start getting their butt kicked. You know, the, you know Manny and uh, Ortiz and Veritek and all those guys. Nomar sad that you know all the injuries kind of hit him up bad but uh Padre. i guess you were people like i don't want boston to win in houston which remember uh berkman biggio bagwell they had the, that core three guys the veterans that were around for so long they got old retired the team stunk for like four or five years they built up the farm system they brought it to what it is now but of course, well, they cheated to win that World Series. So I can see where people are not in love with the Astros in general. Well, we, we've seen them win just a few seasons ago. The Red Sox, well, the Dodgers won recently. The Red Sox won recently. The Astros won recently. Just before them, it was the Giants. So of your final teams remaining in the playoffs, the Braves are the only one that, like, it's been a while since they did anything. So I can see where that's kind of a... That's kind of a... That, that's probably the the sort of, uh, what do I want to say, the the hopeful team, the sentimental team, I guess, to win it all. By the way, swig of coffee for the gamer guys and girls out there. I know, I thought I was done with coffee, but then I'm shopping yesterday, remember, I'm running around getting some things, uh, uh, my girl's mom's, her birthday today, cheers all around, by the way, but then I see all the displays of the, ooh, the fall stuff and the, the pumpkin spice, that is not pumpkin spice, it is Dunkin' Donuts. A take-home brew, but it's like a, like a maple fall for maple, right? Or like you're falling for maple. You're falling for that hot girl. Leading out for the Padre. But it's fall for maple. Kind of a maple Fielder, taste to it. James I admit, Buster. not tremendous, but uh, eh, I'll run with it. Start the year off. I mean, we did throw a strike, but a one pitch out to start the season. That's good. You know what I might do on that on that long sleeve or that wrister? I might get some uh, some accented orange on that thing. I mean, it still looks sharp. It's solid black. That was not Cubs colors. So <coughs> part of me is like, maybe I should have done something with that. But oh well. Here with the Giants, it looks natural. It looks great. What also looks great is these wide open skies. Hardly any clouds. I I am enjoying that. Hmm. Just missing my perfect timing, too. Like, we're kind of right there, but we're not totally there. Oh, I didn't feel like I missed that much. Maybe that's just me. And that cutter that rolls away, because it's low. If that thing was up high, a little different story. But it's down low, and he pushes it opposite field. Batting third, first baseman. Will oh, Myers, good numbers. Meyer. 294, 20 and 86, a little low, but hmm. 
Ball inside. And he still might steal. Ah. Uh, well, I was late on my timing. Again, push. Oh. I'm glad he didn't go for that one. See, this is smart. Oh. Let's see, late where he fouls it. And he was looking down, too. Oh. Ball that outside. 2-2. Two -two. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, not like that, but he's late. Two outs. So a one pitch out. We let a hit by a base hit. There goes the perfecto, by the way. Uh, then we start uh, our first strikeout, the cutter. Now I wonder, bringing in a two-seam fastball, which is probably something I will do, I wonder. See, a two-seamer there might look a little different. But this is okay. I, I'm okay with this. Ah. Nope. Ball one. Oh, that was one in there. The I mean, that was tremendous in there. Beautiful. Chop around the sweeper. We'll just get the force out He's in second. Out. That ends the inning. So, no, no run damage. We didn't do anything in the top of the first. I mean, nothing. No hit. Nothing. The Western Metal Supply Company. And see, ballparks that have something like... Uh-oh. 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 Is something wrong? It says, click here to reload play. Or am I, uh, are we buffering? Did the stream drop? Something's wrong here. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Hmm. Twitch might be down altogether. Something looks very wrong. Okay, I can get to YouTube. I think Twitch just totally died. No? Are we okay? I think we're okay. Well, that was really weird. Like, it showed that it was buffering, like, wait a minute. We might have lost a little bit there altogether, but, uh, looks like we're back. Everything seems okay. 12 minutes and 37, 38, 39 seconds. All right. Just checking. Jeez, I thought we lost the stream there. Twitch was twitching out. Ball that outside. There's something to look into as well. Like, is you know, I've been streaming for a couple of years. Nope, that's a ball. Man, that's that's two. That's a definite strike he should have given me. Definite. But uh, why the name Twitch? I never figured that one out. Hey. Well, at least I got that one. Now, if he swings and misses, that's perfect. Let's do that. Oh, just not good enough. Don't mind the sad violin music. Oh, yep, high up curveball. Not gone, but Animal Crossing and New Leaf music. Hmm. So a leadoff hit, I don't like that at all. Catcher, Lorenzo Fernandez. Yeah! Yeah. 0 and 1. Oh! Aye. At least it's in there for a strike. Drop it again. Okay. Oof, Ball just outside. outside. Probably a little too high. If it was lower, he maybe takes a little hacker at it. Ball. Dude, come on, you owe me at least two, maybe even three perfect strikes that we're definitely in. Ah, perfect timing. All right, he cuts it off. That's not going to advance, but still. But still. First career major league hit. Well, good for you, sir. I'm glad you did it at home. Also glad it did not produce an RBI. Come on now. Drop there. Let's get that double Out. play. Good. Out. Okay. Sure, man gets the third. Probably not likely to get third and second in that uh, in that exchange. 
Now, nah, probably if you throw, if you start at third, there's no double play there. So that was the good thing to do. I, I know I'm just I'm different in a lot of ways. It's like a guy on third, the bases could be loaded. They're like, now nah, let's just get uh, get an easy out here. It's like, no, let's get the guy at home. Let's prevent a run from scoring. A lot of those times, I'm going home with it. Do. Ruzni Castillo, where did he come from? I know the name. He's a real guy. Ooh, the dropper, and we get out of the jam. No runs scored. They still have the All-Star Game logo up there. Now, see, that's one thing, like, I know for the 2016 season, you know, when the game was supposed to be released for, they, uh, that's how they did it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Leading off for San Francisco. Petra, Casey. What you got? What you got? It's looking good to me. Power shot in the gapper, or no, he's there. He's not. Not enough. I gotta stop here. That's good. Start off with a double. Center field now, yeah, I was gonna say, 20 game hitting streak. I know that's in between seasons and everything, but still. Lee, real nice, Clark. Next appearance, dribbler to first, nothing doing. Joe, don't panic, just get me in. Next appearance, he strikes out. Nick Castellanos. And he dribbles the third. Lead off double, can't even get to third. That's kind of what I'm afraid of. But if it's expected with this team, I can't be as angry. Which sounds terrible, I know. Ones the count. I can't be as angry. But, I mean, you think we had, you know, Bryant, Rizzo, Hayward, uh, just, we had no really good batters strike. in Chicago. And, hey, maybe the numbers can change here for Frisco, and we can look somewhat formidable at the plate. I didn't see it there. <laughs> Granted, only one strikeout. We have seen it in the past where I'm the leadoff guy, nobody out, I'm talking. The count is one and two. Uh, I get on base, there's nobody out. And the three people immediately behind me, three strikeouts. Bad pitch, but an even worse swing. Smiley gone. And I see he being the leadoff oh, man, the nothing right. doing. Left fielder, Jay Costa. Yeah, I mean, I missed by a week and a half, dude. I missed my spot terrible. <clears throat> he, for some reason, wanted that thing, so good for you. Bring it in a little bit. In case I miss my Going spot. One. See, that's where I like the two seamer I feel is going to be very beneficial for us. Especially like that. Oh, but he's under that one. Okay. My thought is like, Hayward, please catch that. It's not Hayward. Two pitches, that kind of saves the arm a little bit. Up next for the See pirates. that yellow? I don't Center quite fielder. like. The helmet is okay. Mike. It's that blue with the with the white and the orange letter. The helmet is okay. But too much of that accented. Yellow, brown, uh, not for me. Hey! Well, that was a good shot there. That was a good view. Chopper going and got he's him. Out. He's going. Two pitches. Kind of saves the arm a little bit. Good, good. <clears throat> Let's get some runs here, boys. I know we on the road, but. What is that drive, San Diego to uh, San Francisco? That's got to be. Good chunk of the day there, right? Will Meyer. I mean, cause Cal right, that's that's playable. Play yep, okay. <laughs> a one pitch out. That saves the arm a good one. <clears throat> Will Myers ain't no chump either. Kinda underrated. Well, who was the kid the Yankees went and got from San Diego years ago? Uh Chase Headley. He had that really good year. Only well, you know. Nothing, nothing against him, but the Yankees had to go and get him, and it's like, now he went back to sort of his not-so-good numbers. He had like a good season or two, and the Yankees, that's going to help us win the World Series. It's like they do that so often. Man! I got to count one and two. Now, granted, that is close, but he's, he's, he hasn't given me, Ball. Mm, Down. he hasn't given me up high pitches. Oh, 
Ground. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I got ahead, but allowed a hit. One out. Okay, we can get a double play here. Not likely to steal. Yeah, he broke through. He broke through. Let's do it again. Just not on my timing here. Ho-ho! One ball, two strikes to count. That's right. Cutter gets him. That's two down. <clears throat> oh, I just flashed the, the two-seamer. Two down, two now down. Batting. Catcher, Lorenzo Fernandez. Mm. Oh, Has oh, not one, no been hitting my stride here on perfect timing. Especially with the cutter, which he keeps and calling for. One and, one. and again, I know it's like a percentage-based thing where... Hey. I'll take that. I'll take that because he's been, been short-changing me. Mainly on the ones up high, but the sweeping curveball, and he's out of here. Get him going. Swig of coffee. Falling for maple. Mm. Yeah, there was a nice display of, like, you know, all the pumpkin spice kind of things up front. And I'm like, there's that pumpkin spice coffee. I remember a couple of years back, maybe I told this story, about a big pouch of that take-home, you know, ground coffee from, from Costco. I had one pot of that pumpkin spice. I'm like, I'm done. I honestly believe I flushed quite a bit of it. There's like one pot of that stuff. I'm like, that's enough. Like a mug of that stuff. There was that shot again. And I keep speeding through it. <laughs> Maybe the caffeine's getting in my veins. He's not even throwing that fast. 90, like, that's that's like me. Come on. Still nothing. I'm going to go a little bit low here. Well, I went a little too low, and that's just an uppercut shot like a son of a gun. But if he drops it... Oh, he did not. Pitcher's duel. <laughs> Leading off for the Padres. Second baseman, Luis Avila. But see, uh, that's kind of where I said, yeah, San Francisco. I mentioned, and that was the weird thing. I was thinking about this uh, the other day, where, like, I was basically Down. deciding okay. what team to go to based on the stadium, the venue. I don't think many people consider that. Ah. Sweeping curveball, just looking at it, and he's out of here. Three straight. Well, that's good. Cool. Right fielder, Bruce Castillo. Had a little bit more drop than like that horizontal cut across. And I'm wondering how good a two-seam fastball is going to help me. One and oh. Now, I looked into that. Like how many points and... Oh, shoot, but that's perfect timing. Okay. Now, that's a short corner over there, 336. Two pitches, thank you. I mean, if a this pitcher, is a pitcher's park, by the numbers I looked at... Okay, this is good that he's going to be the third out. I'm surprised... Well, he's still pitching well. Ball that's outside. So for him to not be, you know, getting pinched here... Hooked for a pinch. Eh, a little chopper to short, but okay, get him, get him, good. Out. 18 speed, that's it. Two pitches, saves the arm. All right, boys, let's get something going here. We have five hits... They have an error. Where did they have an error? Couldn't have been with me, I don't think. As long as they have an error and it's not us, you know? Still nothing. Bottom six. Leading 62 pitches. This will be 63. Left My efficiency fielder. doing pretty good Costa. for the first half of the game. Hey. I say first half, you know. The first five innings. Well, because that's five innings. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. That's only four innings. No ball, two strikes. So that, that back half... The sixth inning on, that's that's clutch time, that's crunch time. There's a cutter for a strikeout. Doom Eternal. The batter, center fielder, Mike. Oh, I was just watching that. Uh, <coughs> what it's it's called High Score. It's it's a little video game documentary thing on Netflix. High Score, check it out. Voiced by the hey. modern day Mario, Charles Martinet. He's the narrator, excuse me. But a lot of good coverage and interviews and footage and stuff and Ball one. interesting stuff. 
Yeah, again, that's at least three, probably four to five strikes. Legit. Not that 50-50 stuff that was down low, but up high, he's been ripping me off today. It's almost as if a wide strike zone is what's going to help us today. I don't know. Sweeping curveball. And Trout gets hooked. Trout gets reeled in with a sweeping curveball. There we go. That's two outs. Punch down to first. Go and get him. I can't run for some reason. Thank you. A one pitch out, and that saves the arm. I think that was the 70th pitch. So to get through six, see, we had another hit there. There was six. Still nothing. Bottom seven. Good. Like, this is going to be what this year is. <laughs> I'll take that. Down low and or wide. I will take that. Chop, foul, okay, but pushed. You see that, that cutter that comes into lefties. Because it's down. Yeah, see, perfect timing, and it's a hopper. And don't you hook me now, though. Don't you dare hook me. I'm doing good. Yeah, there's no outs. I get that. Pedro Figueroa. That's a ball. I don't know what this guy wants then. Yeah, go second. There you go. That's, That's okay. Got the front man. We got the front man. That's good. Just well, the easy outs at first. They they think that a lot of the time. And I'm like, no, no, no. We can do a little better with this. Chop. Oh no. See, that's the hit I didn't need to happen. Was that perfect timing? We can get out of this. Second baseman, Luis Avalos. Not quite foul. Hey, good, good pick up there by the kid, huh? From there goes the. Now we're done. He beat it. Uh, Still, double play gets us out of this. I'm not hitting anything right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little upset too, kid. Don't worry. Drop up the middle. That will end the inning. Okay, one run allowed. They're going to pinch hit for me, so I don't even get to help here. Number two hitter. And they're going to kick me out. Fireworks, they won. Drew Smiley, only four strikeouts. Now that looks kind of good for me because with the Cubs, seven and a third, we probably allow, you know. Dude, that was opening day with the Cubs a couple seasons ago. I think I lost, wasn't it against Kershaw and the Dodgers? Eight strikeouts, seven and seven full innings. Yeah, that's right. I got out of it. Well, I say I got out of a quality start, but we start the year with a loss. Huh. Severino, let's uh let's hope you got some magic going. Lose opening day, it's on the road. Bah one to nothing. Sometimes you feel like Burt Blylevin, don't you? You pitch a gem, but you lose so much. A win there. Five to nothing. Where was this? <laughs> And, well, we lose the series. Day off. Pitch command. Well, stop simulating. I will gladly go and do that. Beginner. Apply. Oof. Pitch command. I'll gladly go and do that. That's fine by me. Do-do-do-do-do. do 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 So I gotta return that. That seems like it's on its way. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. 
sorry, sorry. Let's get rocking here. Now, looking at my points there, I had, what, 300 points in that loss, by the way. Um, 7,000 points to spare. And again, yeah, I'm, I just keep thinking, like, oh, gotta get that two-seamer. Oh, and I brought it up, sorry, it, that happens so often. I start a thought, and then something happens in the game, and then I lose it, I stop. But, uh, I, I believe your pitches are a percentage base. Your X pitch is going to be called the most, then it's circle, then it's triangle, then it's square, then it's R1, just based on percentages and numbers. So, even though it's a two-seam fastball, a fastball, which you would think is going to get called a lot, I don't think the catcher is going to call for it as much as, well, he would, a number two pitch, a number three pitch. <laughs> Ugh. Now, check me if I'm wrong, even in the Derek Metzger career, I was not dumbing down the difficulty for pitch command. Oh, in simulated game training, it's just like, I, I never... I would just go through with it and like, well, we didn't do anything, or we only got bronze. Just save before you do it. You know, and, and reload until you get the one you want. Now, for position player, I know that's a little bit different because... You know, you're, you're out there... Hustling, grinding, trying to do your thing. I mean, yeah, we got gold around. I'm not. I'm pitching terrible. To be brutally honest with you. And it's on beginner. Yeah, that's dead center, and I still missed. I was late. Nice old sweeper. I just wish perfect timing would. One of two things. Well, no, at the very least, it should go exactly where the uh, where the uh, trajectory arrows end. It should go exactly to that area. Now, whether or not that also means, you know, perfect timing means they are less likely to, to get a good hit on it, fine. I just don't know, and what's the difference putting it into the red? Whereas, like, I leave it, I, whoop, I let go even before it hits the yellow. I mean, you can do it, you, you can do it press style, so press, press press, press. Or I, I usually do a hold mechanism, so it'll be like, press to bring up the pitch, All right, hold, let go. So let me, let me, oh, that's the last one. Oh, I was gonna say, let me show you holding it in the red. I know, here we are, seasons and seasons, five years after the game came out, and I'm teaching you how to pitch in the game, how to use the pitch meter that I use. I know, sounds ridiculous, and it is, but, uh, woo, I say, I say woo, like Ric Flair. Um, okay, so now we're up to 7,500 points, which is, that, that's a lot. Uh, so we're hosting Colorado, which I think I get, yeah, the final game there. 0-1, even though we did seven beautiful innings of eight strikeout ball with an ERA of 129. Eh, you know. Rojas, a win. Mallory, a win. We are going for the sweep. But I gotta get back to our veteran pitching, apply those changes, we're gonna save as we enter the game, as we usually do. And so yeah, with our, our three game minimum here starting up, I mean, who's, who's to say, you know, who is to say what of anything? The Rockies are 0-5. Oh, but I'm playing Ian Wolf, who had a great year last year. He's 0-1 with a better ERA. He probably made it to the eighth inning. <laughs> Choosing the uni, um... Oh, darn, can I... If I go back... I can't go back, go back. Simulate? No, no, no. Like, you know what? Just home whites to start. Just... So they kind of like the orange cap for the home run. And I know teams do that. Like, it's... I have the Atlanta Braves cat where it's a, the blue bowl and the red bill. Um, I think that's their home cap. Uh, and I think I have the Minnesota Twins like that. However, I have the Cincinnati Reds, the Red Bull, with the black brim. I also have the solid red. Uh, the red and red. Um, boy, who else? The Minnesota Twins, yeah, I have the blue bowl and the red bill. But they do blue-blue. So it's, uh... Well, since we're home, they're probably going to show off my MVP award. From last year. Kind of glad we're home. And by the way, is San Diego a pitcher's park? Kind of looks like it, based on how that was, you know. 
Well, you won the MVP with somebody else, but let's showcase it here. So, you know, if I have to pitch at Wrigley this year, you know, there, there should be kind of a, dude, I spent so much time there. Like, yeah, here's the MVP, thank you, I won it here, you know. There should be something like that, my opinion. Yeah, and of course they show me running. Now, let's just think. Even if I had my speed boosted up and we go to the last game there against San Diego, I get on second, let's say I steal third. It was still a ground out, a strikeout, and a ground out. I still don't get home, which stinks. But the at-bats would have been different. I don't know. You know, the results would have been different for what they did. Do I have the Colorado? I think I have the solid black hat, I believe. To get all the alternates, the home and the waves, like, that's a little much. Them hats, boy, they get pricey. They get pricey. Kevin Kiermeyer. Dave Larson. Uh, I like that uniform, though. The kind of the, the purple sleeve. That's looking sharp. Number 39. Yeah, the black and the purple, the black and white, the black and silver kind of thing that they do. That's very Al Davis, Oakland Raiders. A lot of teams started to adapt into that. Well, even the LA Kings. I mean, you look, why are the, why are the Lakers purple and gold? Well, that's because of the, the hockey NHL, you know, the LA Kings. Cutter way down low, and he goes for it. I mean, the, the L.A. Kings now, it looks sharp. Don't get me wrong, but, like, when uh, when Gretzky was there, I mean, I, I believe they brought in that color scheme by that time, before he got there. But it was the, that silver and black, and it looked like a Chevrolet logo, a Chevy symbol, the bow tie. But, uh, no, the Budweiser bow tie, I'm sorry. Like that Chevy, that, that plus, that cross. That's what I always thought it looked like. You got that, you're good. Well, 309 to the wall, but you need some height to get it over that thing. I would love to get a splash hit. I don't know what that would take other than a perfectly, perfectly hit ball. But that'd be fun. Ball inside. Didn't feel like I was that off. Didn't feel like I was that off. In there, one one. Was that that was perfect timing, and I missed the arrows by that much. Wow, man! I got to count one and two. So my guess is, you know, perfect timing is just like their ability to hit the ball. Punches it foul. I want this thing up a little more. I'm not saying a fastball down is never a good move. This, but still, the fastball up to get that third strike. Two balls, two Thunk strikes. Good thing nobody's on base, but then he goes back low again. I don't get it. Because it's low, there's just, there's just enough time. There's an extra bit of time for them to react and at least spoil it off. I mean, with a dropper there, you can, you're, you're half looking for it all the time. Man! I don't want to exactly use a frozen pitch, but why are we going... Three, two! <laughs> well, thank you for that, Mr. Catcher. Solid shot. Oh, man, come on. Oh, really? Yeah, I was going to say, kid, you're got probably not, out. uh, you got a base hit, but kind of forced his hand a little bit. So that base hit instantly out, so your on-base percentage goes nothing, even though your batting average jumped. Off of the Rockies, right -hander, well, Larson. we did nothing, oh, whoa, whoa, a little lag there. Something, One wow, was my controller just... Yeah, we're lagging like a son of a gun right now. What's going on here? See, if it looks very spotty to you, it looks very spotty to me. Oh, I don't remember where he wanted this thing. I thought it was down and away-ish. I don't feel like I'm glitching that bad, but sometimes it just... 
Yeah, like you see, look at how delayed that looks. It's like. Nick, 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 Nick. Okay, uh, wow, was I holding the button there. What is going on? I mean, thank goodness my timing accuracy was there, but wow. See, that looks more fluid now. That looks way more fluid. What the heck was going on? Down chop. You could have got there a little quicker. I thought he... I, wow. Damien Toybonen. But didn't it have the pluses of no base hit? I had two green pluses. Okay, what the heck happened there? I could have sworn. Can I, like, look back on my stream? Like, is there a timeline to know? I could have sworn he got there, barely. He lazily walked and tagged his foot before the guy and had two green pluses. Like a head on the strikes, no base hit, or whatever. Something. But hey. now the guy's on base. What happened there? I could have sworn... Hey. He got there, and I saw two green pluses, but yet there's a runner on. That's not even an error, that's just laziness. One ball, two strikes. That's where I needed that pitch to be, and now he's going down and in. He wanted that thing, what, down and away? Because I'm thinking he's going to push it, and there's an RBI Second coming. Lopez. Shot to center. Please cut it off. He's going to try third. No? Okay. Thought he could have made it. Yeah, I should have kept that thing further out. Fegley from Oakland. Catcher. Josh Fegley. I'll take that. Boy, an opening day ump. Boy, uh, San Diego. Man, he was not giving me oh, spots, and I had a, at least three, maybe four. There were, like, definite in there. Ah. I can forgive them 50-50s. If I'm him, I'm a little heated right now. That's a ball. I got to count two and two. That's on me. Not bad, and we get out of that one. All right. Boy, the, the middle seam of this hat on the inside, pressing on my forehead. If I lower it down, then I'm okay. Nothing for us. Wow, Maybe I've had no Rockies. run support Petra. at all Ian since Whoa. I've been on the mound. Hey! Again, National League, help your own cause. Boy, did I not know how true that was going to be. Aye. Well, yeah, we're going for a sweep here. They're 0-5 on the year. Let's put them 0-6. <coughs> Aye. Keep it a little more outside, a little up. Perfect timing, that's what we need. I know it's a pitcher, I don't care. <laughs> I know that means extra strikeouts. Now batting, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Well, now, granted, I think you can adjust things as you start up, as far as, like, where do you want DHs? Like, if you could have a DH, like, well, no, but that wouldn't make any sense then. Because, like, how could you face a DH? As a pitcher, how could you face DHs and still bat? It wouldn't work. The curveball way inside, and the number one goes down. Nice little swig of coffee there. I'm digging that. Third baseman, Julio Gonzalez. So today, well, not today, sorry. This is my last week uh, helping out my friend at that essential shop. You know, healthy vitamins and supplements and stuff like that. It's been an interesting run, but uh, just from the top down, things not so good. Oh, a lot of problems, a lot of flux, and for me, it's just time. Just time to go. Like, I've, I've done it. I'm out. <laughs> Bad pitch. Hopper. A lot of space out there in center field. A lot of ground to cover. <clears throat> Up next for Colorado, 
Left fielder, Jeffrey Horner. All right, let's take that. Good cutter to start, but again. Oh. One and one. See, when it's up, he could, you know, you jam him, it's in on his hands, etc. Look at the breaker there. But he went for it. Not bad. I wish this had more comeback movement. Mm. Oh, inside. Thought he might try. Thought he might try that awkward ankle swing. Punch, playable, playable, playable. Couldn't get there. Jeez, 48, 49 pitches coming here in the third. Oh, that's a foul ball. All right, good, good. Wow, is he... Look at the circle. Look at his... Look at that swing contact, really. Look at that pie chart, so to speak, or that spray chart. Man. Ugh. Full count. Yep. Foul! That ball's foul! Okay, he's going to be going, so I shouldn't really worry about that. Two outs. Chop up the middle. Darn. And that was perfect timing, but only a base hit. Oh, I was adjusting my hat. Yeah, two strikes ahead, but... Yeah, I didn't want to waste a frozen pitch in the third inning. But it's just he's a lefty. Foul it off, foul it off, foul it off, you know. I get concerned. Oh no. Nothing you can do there. Shoot. One and two. Maybe I have to use a frozen pitch here. No. Did he go? I think I just gotta use this. I just, you know, I know it's early, but there's runners on second and third, so. A base hit and they knock in a pair. That's not the kind of look we need right away in a game. Got a man on. Because I'm batting five hundo. Bringing his 94. All right. I know where I need my... Oh, right by him. See, now, in this scenario, speed and stealing does nothing unless he's going to plan to do it, too. Yeah, Center one out, a double play eight. gets out of it, but let's just get a good base hit. Thank you. And drive in a run. Yes, yes, yes. Should I try for third? No, oh, I don't have the speed. I don't have anything for it. Not smart. If I at least had the stealing ability... Oh, but that drives in... Two more, we're up three to nothing. Now we're up four to nothing. A force out at second. A hit for an RBI, double. A hit for an RBI single. A hit. And finally, the third out, up six to nothing. Where were we in the lineup? Franklin or Vera, so I'll be coming up again. See that? Now I feel pretty good. Granted, 57 pitches, like... I've thrown a lot already, but if I can speed through here, I wonder. Man, perfect timing. I know it's a base hit, and that's, I guess, okay for what it is, but I don't, especially not the leadoff guy, you know? Dodgers rookie Fernando Vettis win shuts Georgia. out the Astros 5 nothing. His first game will be start. He told four yeah. shutouts in the month of April. Wow. Fernando Mania, before I was born. Yeah, I was born in 82. Hey. So yeah, the Dodgers won it in 81 with Fernando. Was he the rookie MVP that year? At least the Cy Young, no? Not likely to steal. Curveball. Oh, two is the count. See, a two-seamer here looks beautiful. Because he's, he's got to worry that it's going to come back. 
Yeah, I honestly feel getting a two-seamer is going to be very crucial for us. Because where he keeps calling cutters, like, this one's okay. Because it's kind of up. I'd rather, I'd rather be up. Mmm. <laughs> That's not good. Nobody out, two on. Second baseman, Ozzy Lopez. Yeah. Oof, I'll take that. That's more out than in. <clears throat> now, granted, that's your first strike, kid. You can't be too angry. I mean, that's up there. Playable, all right. <clears throat> Two pitches, I guess, saves the arm. Double play would really help right about now. Josh up. Why up? Begley. I'll take that. That's more oh, in. Oh, that's strike two. I already wasted my frozen pitch. That thing's gone. Oh. oh. I got to count one and two. Just a hair down would have been okay. Ah. I felt like that thing was a little bit off. Oh no, perfect timing. Come on, come on, come on. Don't do this to me. Okay, good. <laughs> Man. Man, that worries me. Now batting. The pitcher. That really worries me. Hey! Right. Now we're up six to nothing. Yeah, I'm worried we're up six to nothing. I keep thinking we're not a good batting team. My brain says ah. it is still tied zero zero. Like, I feel like I'm demanding so much more of myself right now. Oof. Coming up to 76 pitches here in the fourth. I don't, my efficiency is not, not there today. Playable. Nope. If the glove is out, it's not playable. Push it away. Oof. Sweeping curveball. And again, out of a jam with two men on. Jeez. <clears throat> and I should get the bat in my hands again. If I'm not the number one, I'm the number two guy coming up. Lead off man here. Single Leading and a run. Etcher. Casey Braxton. Oh. Mm. It's a lot of space out there. And 382 to dead center is not that far. I just feel like center field, there's a lot of room out there. Which makes it, in my eyes, seem like a hitter's park. But I'm already noticing, and of course we got the short one over there and right. I mean, we saw, well, just in this game, the guy had the uh, that base hit, ricochets off the wall and... No base hit, two strikes ahead, first pitch. Um, was that an error? Because we should not commit any errors. Like, what is going on here? That's two errors. And unless I'm wrong, hold on, so cutter there. Your teammates will not commit any errors. I think that's misleading. I think that sh should say your, your team will not commit any fielding errors. Because that was a throwing error. And the other one, he just lazily walked over. And again, all pluses, so it, it, so it was an error. Uh, when he lazily walked and was slow to touch the base before the base runner. This smooth hands is doing nothing. That's just, that's, if it said fielding errors, we'll never drop a pop-up. We'll never, you know, boot, well, but you boot oh, a ball, high. that could be lasered at you, like, bam, a quick liner. So I might take that off. It's clearly not working for what it One says. Ball, two, not committing errors. That's already two in this game. Go foul. Oh, 
two run blast and this has started already it took to game two but finally a home run that is a how far is that corner I mean Braxton went right away 339 that is a short one 309 there but I mean you got some height to get a home run 382 yeah this hmm. does not seem like a, a pitcher's park I don't know how you would rate that but and again, based on the numbers, San Diego, which has that short corner in the left, you know, the Western Metal Supply Company. I mean, Bartolo hit one there, you know. I mean, I am excited about the whole new year, new place, new scenery. Well, Could be a strike there, come on. He's kind of, he's, he's giving and taking, that's fair. But now I wonder, like, maybe I should switch instead of, like, that smooth hands, because that's not totally working. The only time that I feel that's going to hurt me, well... Nope, no, but see, but that... Let's just say there's a throw coming in at first base. You know, we're trying to get a double play something. No, just a, a laser to short. The guy's hustling. I'm, i got to get hooked in this game. I'm coming up on 90 pitches here in the fifth. And again, if this is a two-seamer, this is a good location for it. But this thing's coming in to a lefty. He's got time to punch it away. Down shop. I thought I had 99, like, pitching clutch, 99 H9, you know, all that stuff. I thought it was pretty good like that. Now batting. Well, I might just make it through the fifth or sixth inning, and that's about it. Bullpen, again, we're getting some lag here. It's not smooth. Come on. Look at that. He might steal. He might steal. That's concerning. And I wish... I wish perfect timing would be... Uh, he didn't get a solid hit on it. And if they know me, I'm almost telegraphing. All right, Cutter, we got him. All right, cool, cool. That's good. Now battle. First Just to get that first out, Game very important. Hey. Well, that thing just danced in at the last second. Oh, punch right in there. From He's not making it home. Speed of 63, but like his stealing ability is like 80 something isn't it Anderson mm. oh I don't like it Oof. two balls one strike the count Oof. That's only strike two. Beg your pardon. Boy, I thought we had him there. Shot to center on perfect timing. What? 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 Now he got it. Save. On perfect timing, a blast to center. Two runs come in. Runner on second, one out. Okay. okay, that's a strike. Okay, that's a strike. Come on now. Ball inside. Hey! But even right now, like frozen pitch, that would only been to get a second out. Ball three. Ball three. three ball, that could, my BB strike. nine is maxed out, by the way. I would like to remind everybody. 108. This will be 109 pitches here in the fifth. Okay, Cutter, he's just looking at that thing. I don't know. This has got to be my last oh, inning, unless you know we make it through the lineup, Josh and I can get uh, I can get another at bat going. I was gonna say that's perfect timing. 
Jeez. Two pitches does not save them. Over 100 pitches here in the fifth inning. I don't think I've had such a bad um, efficiency game in my career. Wow. We're still up. Leading off of the Rockies. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to kill the bullpen on account of that. I mean, we got the lead. I am good. Believe it or not. Man, that's just alarming to see, like, these kinds of numbers. And two errors, by the way. No ball, two strikes. Well, I, I don't remember. Um, any of those errors result in runs for them? Missed my spot. And this was a Colorado team that I went through in the playoffs. Curveball looking. I think, was that the pitcher? Kiermaier should be up? Yeah, okay, so that was the pitcher. All right, so kind of nice to get that easy first out. Yeah. The first strike, well, the first pitch being a strike is very important. Getting that first batter out, I think, also very important. Woo. And I believe that was perfect timing. Man. The batter. I don't need to see that garbage. That's a good spot for that thing. He wants another one. He'll get another one. How about one more? Well, now he wants the old drop -a -roo. Not a bad call, just a bad pitch. I don't... What? Get him. Got him. Nice defensive play there. I don't know why the guy didn't try from first to second. Just to stretch a little. I mean, you got to give him credit for trying that, though. I didn't think he was. And then at the time, I'm like, he's going to make it. Not likely to see it. Please, just, just get him out here. Uppercut shot. You know what? I'm going to get this. If this is it for me in the day. Third out, that'll end the inning. <coughs> oh, man. You know. You know. So they're going to give me my bat. Let's the try bat. a home run here. I'm not Enter. even joking. Casey. Not even joking. Braxton. If I can get one, if I could get a splash. Well, one. that'd be a long shot. But just right field ball. It's got to be up. That's where Wrigley was nice. They got that little fence that reaches out off the wall. I think that's kind of cheap. Okay, I don't know. Somewhere here. Mm. Too much air. To the warning track. Maybe right at the base of the warning track. Not so much the base of the wall. Are they going to keep me in this? I guess they are. Jeez. What I need is strikeouts here, though. I don't feel like I've been getting those. And, I mean, they've had, a, like, about three hits on perfect timing pitches. We got the two errors. That's annoying to me. Whoa, what a reacher. I'm going to say, like, you know, two pitches, I guess. Less than three. I was going to say, that was such a bad swing, it'll probably end up being a hit. Yeah, this was a Colorado team that we walked through. I walked through in the a, uh, NLDS, excuse me. Game no one ball, just walked right through them. Have they done their homework? Apparently so. This looks good. Missed my spot. Perfect timing, maybe. Let's go red. Let's just bury this thing. The count is he wasn't buying two. it. <laughs> down. Uh, oh, no. Battery low. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. I gotta do something about that. Battery low. That's not fun. I was charging up before we started today. Ah! Excuse me. I'm in the way. Excuse me. I'm in the way. Er, er. Now, how can I... Let me just... I gotta, I gotta do something really quick. Let me dashboard just to see. We're getting a charge out of this thing. Okay. So long as we're charging. I don't like having this thing wired in. 
honestly. Because I feel it gets a little loose, it gets a little wonky. And it's like the contact points. You remember, like, picture an old Nintendo cartridge. You get a blow on it. No, it's just where it's contacting, you know, the... Oof, okay, I was going to say. Let that not be a home run. Wow, and to get the second out... Boy, are they making me work for it. Perfect timing, please be there. All right, good. Wow. Now batting, shortstop, Anderson, bad. Mmm, I don't like this idea. I mean, at least they take on it. But let's not do it again. Are you kidding me? Hey! Maybe he broke through. Let's go up. I'm just, I'm a little, I'm a little peeved at the catcher here. Three! Okay, he's leaving looking at him. That's the result we want. Three pitch strikeout, that's good. And you gotta tell me, <clears throat> I had to get out of that one. And they won the game. Their first win avoids the sweep. Oh boy. There's the bullpen. Seven to six. And they got it in the top of the ninth. The line score for the ball game this so we held the eighth. With the victorious Rocky. Mm -mm -mm. No win for me. Although I allowed two hits, I had three strikeouts in the third. So 11 strikeouts in seven innings, a long game for me. Very long game. Quality start, yep. You can't doubt me on that one. Day off, let's save. Three game minimum coming up, so a loss, a no decision, in a loss. <coughs> and uh, that's just kind of how we're sitting right now. All right, so simulate. There's the 10th. Severino, you're 1 0. You're now 2 0. But they're giving him run support. Well, I had run support. I did. They gave me 6 to nothing. Started to slip on that one. Abe Rosales, this kid, I'm hoping good things from him. So that was a. Is that a save? Wait, what happened? Oh, no, that was a loss for us. Why Theodore Cookson? 0 0. I don't get it. Oh, they dropped him down to the miners. That's what happened. Okay. I didn't notice his hat. <laughs> so, in the minor leagues, he's still got one and two-thirds innings pitch with a 10.8 ERA. That's terrible. Rosales, in the win, complete game. Ten Dude, seven to two, eight to nothing. Good. Yes, let's start doing that. Against Kershaw. A win. Although he didn't get the loss himself. Uh, starting Pittsburgh, a loss. <clears throat> 14 innings, 19 strikeouts, 2.5 ERA. It's not a good start for me, I know. 7,800. Uh, so we save. Man, that was a... And I'm surprised it did not even say that, you know, Braxton is getting tired. And I, what, somewhere near 130 pitches. I got through the 7th. But wow, it's fairly impressive. In fact, do they show... Um, do they show, like, my my tiredness or something? Pitching rotation. My energy. Now, the, the red ring around the number is, like, shows their overall type thing. But do they show, like, energy? Because I just pitched a ton of pitches. If it wasn't, you know... Got through the seventh inning. Whatever. We're at PNC. Play next appearance. Ooh, what uniform today. I still just kind of like the road grays. I mean, let's just say they're wearing their, uh... Let's just say they're... They should be wearing home whites. They just should. Do we go with that orange? I kind of like the orange San Francisco as opposed to that, that Giants that kind of... Because that's probably, like... Late 70s, early 80s Giants, I'm guessing. Just before they went to this look. Hmm. No, I still, I just... Whoa! Controller, are you okay? 
what happened? I'm using the D-pad here. San Francisco. Let's uh, just road graze, I suppose. Let's just do that. All right, so earned runs. We are third best in all of baseball. Best in the National League. Which is kind of good. That means we are a very good pitching team. Six and four, a game behind the Diamondbacks. Yeah, this division altogether was looking weird. Um, oh, you know what? Let me, uh, I'm going to pour some coffee here. And i got a dashboard again to make sure when I pick up the controller that we're getting a good charge going. Because I do not want a low battery worry. I don't want that thing to kick out and be like, oh, you know what? we got to take a time out because I didn't have a good charge on my stuff. So, coffee, cup number two. Ah, swig of coffee for the gamer guys and girls. Still a little bit warm. Mm-hmm. With this 1.3, not good. All right, two seconds. Let me, uh... We did nothing in the top of the first. Leading off for the Pirates. Cutter perfectly away. Let me dashboard here. All right, still showing that we got a charge. One, two, three. Reset. One, two, three. Ha, 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 ha. Good. And, you know, me and the Pirates, we got history, so, uh, yeah. Ball, that's outside. But, Polanco, you're the leadoff man. You're getting a little older. You're going to be a little bit slower. Hey. All right, I needed that. Oh, Jackie Robinson Day. We're all doing 42s. That's awesome. Hey. I kind of like that, that they incorporate that into the game. And even, like, you know, Mother's Day, where, uh, you know, we got pink stuff, pink wristers, pink... Hey. Uh, oh, the dropper. Nicely done. I mean, he's looking high, and it just sat in there on him. Glenn Crump, 323, it's early. Him and Enrique Bautista, 310. Bautista. Now that's his numbers so far this year. All right, this kid's looking pretty sharp. Ah. Ah. Oh, this little part of the head is digging into my forehead. Chopper, let me... If I raise it up a little bit, it's okay. If I lower it, then it's much better. It just finds its way, because it, it's literally digging a groove into the flesh of my forehead. And it's like, no, we're just going to settle here. All right, that's up and playable. Oh, catcher's got that thing. Really? Oh, nice snag. I thought that was definitely going dug out. Good reach, good reach. Is that against the rules to, like, run down the dugout steps? to try to get a better angle to catch that thing. Derek Jeter, well, he ended up diving into the stands. Like, he caught it, but his momentum carried him into the stands. No ball, two strikes. A bad spot. He was looking for it, though. That far in on him? Oof. That awkward ankle swinger. That's good break. I like that more horizontal. Out of the sweep. Oh, bad one. That's all right. Yeah, why were we not getting... Oh, you know, I was going to switch out to my uh, teammates don't commit any errors. Because that's BS. It hasn't been working. Runner on first. Let's get a little drop on this thing. Oh, too early. Yes, I know it. There's a decent hit spot, too, for me. Ah. A pitch ball, out. Okay. Okay. He's not going to steal. What are you on? What are you looking at, sir? Man, early again. Kidding me? That was another good spot to hit it. Oh, no doubter. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. First home run of the year on the road. <clears throat> Helping my own cause. And luckily a two-run shot. I mean, if I'm thinking I want to hit a home run, it, you know, sometimes I try and it happens. I think a couple playoffs ago um, it did. You know, it was just like we're going for home runs, and I hit maybe one or two or something like that. 
in a game or in a series against the team. <clears throat> but uh, I like that I got the black and the orange, the orange lenses on the for the shades. But if I'm going to hit a home run, I definitely want someone on base. Sometimes it's just, no, it's the playoffs, and I'm going for, you know, we just need runs, so I'm doing this. So, like, that part of it doesn't really bother me in that regard. So, well, you know. One and one. Just dropped enough. Yeah, so if that smooth hands things ain't working, it ain't working totally. It is, uh, well, One ball, two strikes more out than in, I'll take it. But smooth hands, it should say your teammates will not commit any fielding errors. Spin, turn, throw, you, you took He's your good. time doing that. You took your time getting to that ball and doing your damn pirouette. They have an error, not us. Oh, fiddly D. Uh, sometimes I think it's just, it's programming. It's, it's just the animation that's used. Mmm, perfect timing. Safe. Right, hold on, what are we dealing with here? Nobody out, right? The shortstop who's batting 310, by the way. Wow. Okay, that was lagged out. That's another thing, too, because I feel... Yeah, see, that's, that's a controller. One. Because the contact points, trying to charge this thing, one second, he wants the cutter down and away. Because if I hold the controller, like, on my lap, it doesn't, like, there needs to be a little bit of tension on the cord. It's the weirdest thing that's not charging right now. Come on. Come on, let's charge this thing. Let's go. Chop, chop. Come on. Let's, uh, let's do this. It's like I gotta hold it, not so much at my lap, but on my belly. To get a decent charge spot here. It's a little annoying, to say the least. You know, it's like that old joke, like, something's wrong with the toilet, you gotta jiggle the handle. Yeah, you gotta hold this in, like, in just the right spot to get this wired plug in. Oh. Garbage trucks outside. In case you heard that mm, humming along. Foul. No, that's a foul ball. All right, here's a good call. Here you go. That's good. Yep. So that's one out. So now a double play, and we're out of this thing. Batting seven. Catcher. Ronald Pierce. Oh my goodness, what a snag out and right. Oh, we needed that. That was beautiful. One pitch, thank you for that. Does save the arm. That's good. Second baseman. A Danny Echeverria is still around. It's early, but you're batting 143, kid. He's more of a glove guy. Decent speed. Great defensive. Uh, man, I, I still say, I don't know how the Marlins did not do better years back. I need to do better. Counts. Oh, two. Mm. Oh, oh. Boy, if you would have called that for me. But this will work. This will work right here. Three. Guess he broke through. Or he just liked the location. But we get out of that jam. Like, how far would you have to hit a ball to get a splash hit here in Pittsburgh? Three to nothing. We got another run in. That's good. And the, their pitcher is their leadoff guy. By all means, should be an easy first out. Wow, he checked his swing. And pitch saves the arm. That's good. That's good. I like them strikeouts, but based on how many pitches I threw that last game. What do we got here? Splatoon Live. Oh, that... Yeah, the Splatoon music is very weird. It sounds very, I don't know. It's just, you know it when you hear it. No balls, two strikes. It's, I, I can't describe it. Like, it's very Muppety. 
No, thought we had the drop on him. In more. Yes, platoon music is very, very odd. Ooh, the dropper gets him. All right, so that's a quick two down. Four pitches, that's okay. Five pitches to get two outs. Now batting. Left Crump. Fielder, Glenn I mean, with the last, you know, was that Christmas with the Crumps? Wasn't that a movie or something? Aye. Like Paul Born Blart. One. Like, you almost need that, uh, that, that... It, it sounds like a dirty, I don't, like... Oh, I gotta go take a Blart. Two pitches saves the arm. It's like, oh, it's tastes like crump, you know? Not like crumpets. Crumpets doesn't sound like a like a pastry tree or nothing. <clears throat> but like crump, blart, those last names that just like eesh. Sounds bad. Let's go here. Mm, right to him. If I could have had that in between uh, center and right, a little better, but... Leading off the fourth for the Pirates. Starting my bid for the Silver Thanks Slugger yet again with a uh, two-run shot. Mm. Nope. That's me. That's me. Missing my spots, yo. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right then. That's cool by me. Cool and the gang. Uh, I'll take that. It's like he's got that little knee kick up. That's messing up my timing. Solid shot to center, but playable. I was going to say, that should be there. All right, good, good. I'm telling you, controller in hand. You're, you're looking for your, your needle in that in that pitching, you know, in that pitching meter. When they waver their bat or do something, it can throw off your timing. It just can. Some batters more than others, obviously, and a, a lot of the Dodgers had that that problem. So I, I I felt my years with the Cubs were playing the Dodgers like every NLCS, and I always I felt I always struggled against them, always. So I'm glad that we won two World Series. Two. Say what you will about the way that I simulated that one, you know, against Seattle, but we made it to Game Seven. Like we shouldn't lose a World Series if we make it to Game Seven. If they beat us in four, five, six, fine. But we make it to Game 7, you know what, we're going to win it. That's just, and just the World Series. I'm not saying that with a dropper. Let's get him in the rundown. He's out. Good. I would not do that, you know, the, the, the Divisional First Series. Well, we made it to Game 5, Sean we should just win in advance. Um, I know that makes us look and feel clutch, but it's the World Series. That's, that's sort of the caveat that I'll give to that one. If we get it to a Game 7, we're just going to win it. Whether we're up three to nothing and they win, 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 or whether oh, they're up inside. three nothing and we win, win, win. It's like if we get it to game seven, I'm going to simulate to make sure that we win. Because there is a chance that I'm not pitching that game. If it comes down to it that I do end up pitching game seven and we lose, well, that's that's the result. But you know, since I have nothing to do with it, like we made it to game seven, we're just going to win this oh. thing. You know, call me greedy. Call well, you cheated the the, the Mariners out of I whatever. I don't care. <clears throat> it's my road to the show, <laughs> and I had nothing to do with that game that, you know, was being played. Now, could I simulate that we, you know, win every game uh, regardless? Oh, sure, you could do that. Leading off for the Pirates. You know, we could, we could set left. records up and down and the board. Let's just say, Bautista. you know, games hey. that I'm in, you know, let's just say that there are no decisions, losses, whatever. We're still going winning, like, about 130 games, 120 ah. plus. Even if we lose oh, dude, every game that I'm in. You know what? 130. Oh. 131 and 31 or something like that. Like, that'd be ridiculous. Oh, oh, sorry, that was a dropper. We'll get him in the rundown. Ronald Pierce. But I, I, I don't apologize for that. I don't care. Because even when we won the World Series, like, legit, that was what? five games against Boston, um, I had nothing, I was no deciding factor in that final game, so, it's like, whatever, only the World Series, yeah, divisional, well, we made it to five games, I'm going to simulate and make sure we won, dropper gets him, getting a little bit of a momentum run here, 
Now batting. Things are feeling Second pretty pretty. Adani Echevarria. Oh, through. He's a really good inside hitter. Where's the catcher call? The first two pitches inside. Yeah. Yeah. Great call, by the way. Great call. Perfect timing. And he got every bit of that thing because he's a pretty good inside hitter. Speed is 60. He's getting a little bit older, but wasn't D. Gordon fast, but he was speedy enough play. to irritate me. Oh, Pinching McCutch is your pincher. Well, he got two outs. Andrew now, did he need the day off, or is he just... I mean, come on, it is 2023. He's, dare I say, deteriorating enough. Oh, that's a good shot, too. I missed my spot. Oh, thank you for that. End of the inning. Saves the arm a little bit. Saves my heart a little bit. Because that one was an easy RBI, but if it clears the wall, then it's 3-2. to two. No batting for me yet. I mean, I had my shot. Don't get me wrong. I was looking for my next bat. I'm always worried about Not worried. Always looking forward to it. I enjoy batting. You know, being a pitcher that's... Ball. Mm, one ball, no. one strike. Mm. Sweeper, one and he went over the top Two of that strike. thing. So, no, I'd say cutter up and in would be a little smarter here. So let's go with what you're calling. That's yeah, see, I don't want to be that ignorant pitch like, no, no, got to call what I want. I mean, I could, like, step off the mound and reset until he absolutely does, but for the most part, I would say in 95% of the time seems pretty low. I think I've been pretty darn good with following what the catcher's asking for. I think I've done pretty well in this career being a... A, a compliant pitcher. Ball one, no strike. Obedience, if you will. Aye. Right down the middle. Trials of Mana for the Super Nintendo. Got some music going on in the background for those of you that know the game. Ah, that was me. Two balls, one strike. I felt a delay on the power-up, so I screwed up on the accuracy. Playable on perfect timing. 325, that's short, man. A lot of coffee in the bladder right now. It's starting to press. I think it's the bottom of the sixth of our third game, right? Uh, but I love it. It starts high, and then it just drops in. Unless he's really looking for it, it's deceiving enough. Oh, this is the guy with the with the knee up and the bat waver. All right, all right. Try him on that stuff again. Bring it. Bring your stuff. Whoa. Get off the plate a little bit, huh, kid? Oh, jeez. Get off the plate, I'm telling you. It's that freaking bat waver. Mm. But sweeping curveball, and he's out of there. I just love how it almost gestured that again. But uh, I got to get a bat in my hands here now, don't I? Now pitching for the Pirates, number 42. Yeah, no, and, and I'm keeping things clean here. No pine tar, no tape. Just got my gloves because they help. Let's go about here. And another, no doubter. Going solo style. Had the better timing on that one. I thought that was going to be more... You know, in the gap to our right center, but not aiming to hit home runs, but I'll definitely take them if I get them all. Now, can you imagine if I start some doing some Otani stuff where, well, granted, but he would pitch and then, you know, be position player DH style, like, for four games. Four games defense on that one. Where did that exactly land? All right, four to nothing. I've driven in three. Helping my own cause. Because they made it seem like it literally just disappeared. Like, what happened here? Did it... Oh, perfectly down the... Are you... Okay, that's where it went. It went in the, uh... In the walkway, if you will. Okay, that's cool. Because I'm like... I don't think it went, like, in a bullpen spot, or... 
You know those low seats uh, that Hold they got the fence count. in front of them? Ground level. Okay. Counts, one and one. Helping my own cause. More than I thought here. Aye. Drops in there good. I got to count one and two. Put a good swing on it. The swing Four don't matter. Inside. It's the contact that matters. You can swing your lights out. Ooh, the dropper, and we'll get him in the rundown. Got him. He gone. He gone. So, yeah, if our players can commit throwing errors, um, it just seems to be like catching is the thing that that's, that's 60 points worth of stuff. I, I'm thinking about switching that off, honestly. Because there is the one like, oh, the umpire will call in your favor. Sounds very nice. I don't know how great that would be, and it's worth the same 60 points. Hmm, good thing that's foul. Cut her up and away. Ah, uh, not down, man. Oh. Okay. He wants everything. He's a good down and away hitter. Let's keep going down and away. Why? Well, okay, fine. Curveball gets him. I'll take another swig of coffee. Been an hour and a half already. They had a long game one. Seems like a long game two. Take it. That's good. All about that action. Ah. What are, do they make absolutely like wired PlayStation nope, controllers? That's a ball. Ball, I don't like wireless. Yeah. I really don't. Because then you got to plug it in or set it on the thing and charge it, and it doesn't always charge well enough. You idiot. That's an error. That is an error, and it shouldn't have, because that was a fielding error. It's not like that thing was lasered at you and you booted it. That should be an error. That's not a hit. And we should be out of this inning, by the way. You have four hits. They shouldn't even have that. Perfect timing, but foul. No, that's foul. Like his body language, I couldn't move. And when I can't Down move, one and two. Crippled. Well, that would have got me really heated because that guy, the way he fielded that ball, good thing. We get the drop on him. He's got to get him out of here. Get him out now. Still four to nothing. Bottom eight, 92 pitches is okay. Second Pretty good efficiency. We had a good run there, kind of in the middle innings. I felt we were really mowing people down. Okay, go for it, kid. That's all you, sir. That is all you. Chopper on perfect down. Oh, you picked this one up. That's that's clever of you. That should have been an error, that previous one, though. Your attention, please. Desmond Clemente. Desmond Clemente. Oh and one. Mm-hmm. Aye. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Oh. Okay, chop foul. Or not chop foul. He's <clears throat> out. Chopped it, but we get him. Kind of feeling a groove here, a little bit. Well, I don't. Know. I'm also getting half heated. I'm not gonna lie. Like the errors, that that's got me thinking. Too much coffee on my bladder. I should really go and take care of that. But I think it's the eighth, bottom of the eighth. I can wait. Getting some perfect timing. That's strike two. I don't know if they're gonna have me sit down after this. Uh. Um, that that could be just a hit. I don't think that's an error. No base hit. It's said again. So that is an error. By my book, that's two of them in the game. Kidding me. Hey! Teammates, do not commit any errors. That's a fielding error. 
It's not a throwing error. Ball inside. Like that previous one, what was I talking the other game? That was a that was a throwing error to the first baseman. Up the middle. Hey, look you all right, get somebody out. So it's not working. That was a fielding error. I was thinking, right, fine, fine, throwing error, now fine, if you want to call it that. Number 42. I'm going for more. These things leave the yard, they leave the yard. Oh, a little bit, oh, that's all right. <clears throat> Good old base hit. They don't work up four to nothing. Do I try stealing? <clears throat> because there's, uh, we're up four to nothing. There's nobody on. I'm going to try. Lee Clark. Okay, bad throw. And see, plus we get training points for that. Next appearance. A home run. So there's two runs. Uh, that's good. Scored three runs on the day. <coughs> and, you know, with a 6 to nothing healthy lead, keep me in. Still got over 25% energy if you look at that little pie chart there. That's uh, it's not quite... All of a sudden, my heart feels like it's racing. It's that coffee, I'm telling you. Falling for maple. You know, the fall season. Falling for maple. Hey. That's good. Here's this guy again. I don't like pitching to him. Not quite perfect timing, but please be playable. All right. Warning track. Oh, leaning against that wall. Thank you for that. That one got there quick, too. Now batting. Right <clears throat> fielder. Pedro Solid shot. Cardero. Oh, jeez. That's me. Counts That's me. one and oh. Hoo-ha-ha. -ha. Perfect timing. That's out to left. Easily playable. Two outs on two pitches. Saves the arm a little bit. Now batter. Could be the final ball. batter. Sean and if I get him to two strikes, we're freezing him. There's one. There's two, and here okay. comes number three. Now, we're just going right down the middle, frozen. Three. Cutter gets him. That's the end of the game. Complete game shutout to get our first win of the year. And, yes, it was on the road <clears throat> where I hit two home runs. Ended up stealing a base and scored three runs. Thirteen strikeouts. See, that's the kind of game I had in the playoffs. I thought I had a tremendous playoff run. I mean, strikeouts, I think it was a lot of double digits. Allowed four hits. And there should have been two errors on the day, I feel. Not just the one. But proof that thing ain't working. And it's worth 60 showtime points or whatever. Yeah, right there, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. Now, I allowed a hit in the seventh, but three strikeouts. Okay, I, that's fifth and sixth and seventh. Yeah, yeah. I was starting to feel that pretty good. Shout out, complete game quality start win for 718 beautiful points. Get through the day. Okay. Um, oh, save. What am I? <clears throat> and again, I'm thinking, do I go with the two-seamer? Do I get that taken care of right now? I don't quite know. Um... Again, maybe I just wait till I get like towards 10,000 points and then start to dare I say worry about it. Okay, so that puts us to the rubber match with Severino, who loses. Uh oh. Not enough run support. St. Louis, the new kid, a loss, the young kid. A loss. Swept in St. Louis. A day off. Simulated game. Stop training. That'll get me to my next spot. Uh, veteran back to beginner. Apply those changes. Let's save. We are to our spot. And I want pitch command. Good thing it's just pitch command, because boy, does my bladder gotta. Oof. We gotta look at some stuff. Simulated game. Nope. The road of the show. Continue. Boop. Let's get this rocking and or rolling. Simulated game. Nope. Reload. It's a 50-50 thing. If you're a position player, there's like fielding, I think there's base running, I think there's batting. Pitch command. There we go. You know what? I don't care. I'm going to go uh, take that time out. Oof. 
Excuse me, be right back. Okay, what did I miss? Nothing. I missed a, I missed a curveball coming up. Well, the dropper, excuse me. Plop. Okay. <clears throat> excuse me for that, but, uh, man, as much as I like coffee, it, it makes you, you know, anything. Whatever beverage of choice you're having, you're, you're, you're gonna, gonna eventually be like, I need a time out here. One check on the dashboard. Are we, uh, there? Well, that took a while to register. All right. Looks like we got two things, two bars, if you will. Two out of three. I wish it would just kind of show a percentage. That seems a little better for my brain. Oh. Little bit of lag there, game. Thank you for that. That was nice of you. I don't know why it does that sometimes. And not others. Buried, really. Really. What in the flying F? What is going on here? Well, somehow we're hitting, but uh, it seems like it's very late. So let me hit early. Yeah. Something's really wrong here. Something is really wrong. Timing is just horrendously off. Horrendously off. That, I tried perfect timing. There it was. Why does it do that? Can you imagine if I'm in-game and this is happening? Like, I'm getting shelled at this rate. But see, but that was perfect time. What is going on here? I mean, is my system doing an update, needing an update? I don't think I'm downloading a game or nothing like that. Like, you know, eating up the, the memory and the thought process of what this is. I mean, I don't really know what does all that, to be totally honest with you. Woof! <clears throat> well, we got our gold. Yeah, I'm complaining and we still get gold. Woof! Woof! Mario Kart, Rainbow Road. That is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Volume 3, Rainbow Road. If that's picking up enough. If you can pick that up. Okay, just check it. It's just very laggy right now. I'll take the... No, I, did, I pressed up to go to exit. Wow. No, we're, we're really lagging right now. Something is wrong with my PS4. PS4. POS4. Huh. Piece of... Mm, no. <clears throat> Alright, so we will... Looking into the next part of the lineup here. So, one, two, three, four, five, one. Host Arizona, host Cincinnati. Two, three, four, five, one. And at Colorado, getting us into May... Uh, for the next episode. <clears throat> 8,900 points. I mean, we're stacking them up now. Uh, oh, we just did our thing, so hold on. Let's uh, gameplay veteran. Apply those changes. Let's save. 
So we're kind of on point with where we need to be. Because that's important. Uh, okay, so there we are. That's, that's how we're looking at Let's see. Ooh, checking across the leagues. Uh, it's early, but the Yankees own the East. Blue Jays, one and a half. Rays, two and a half. Orioles, three. Red Sox, three and a half. Twins own the Central. Twins and Indians are tied for the Central. Tigers, two and a half. Royals and White Sox, three. Angels own the West. Rangers, one and a half. Athletics, three. Mariners, five and a half. Astros, seven and a half. Ouch. Uh, Phillies own the East. Nationals, a half game. <clears throat> Braves, two and a half. Mets, three. Marlins, three and a half. Cubs, 13 and three. Uh, they own the Central. Cardinals, two. Pirates, three. Brewers, five and a half. Reds, seven. The Diamondbacks own the West. Rockies, two. Padres and Giants, two and a half, where we are. And the Dodgers, four and a half. So there you go. Early start, but that's how that's looking. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I, you know, stats even at this rate, probably not... Nothing to really look into. Keuchel's already got his three wins at uh, 35 years old. Still going. Ten years of MLB service. Good for him. Losses. Oh, Ross, Francisco, and Gene. These guys are doing really good all of a sudden. Tyson Ross from San Diego. Okay. Luis Francisco. Uh, some Atlanta runs. Scott Gene we had for, yeah, a good while. Saves. There's Finney leading the league. <laughs> now, now they're doing good. Well, I gotta look for myself on a San Francisco run. Whoops. Rosas. Rosales every now. He's... Is he a starter with us? Yeah, so he's the number four, he's the number three, he's the number two, and I'm the number one. Home runs allowed? Not so much. Uh, shutouts. Braxton Severino Rosales. Good, 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 good. We're doing that. Strikeouts. Well, I got 32 and 23. Whoa! 33 and 19 and a third? <clears throat> Buddy, 15.3 is insane. I mean, I got 12.5. Age 30. You can still go some distance here, kid. You're doing really good. You're on a, you know, a stink team, but... Strike out to complete games. Uh, innings pitched. I'm not even on that list. Well, again, it's early, and I'll play another game and we'll get there. Walks, nothing. What is this? He's a top five guy at 31 years old, and he's like a top five prospect or something. Really weird. Whip, not so good for me, although I am on the list at one. Okay, good. Pitching war. Oh, leading the league, by the way. Leading all pitching war in 113. Eh, I'd be number four, even if you consider batting. All-star voting. Nola, Santiago, Chastain, Severino, and Braxton. So, one, two, three, the four and the five. All right, cool. Early, very early. Yeah, the awards are probably... I shouldn't even look into this. Like, way too early. I gotta get... <clears throat> this, normally, I'll really start to look at this stuff uh, after the All-Star break. Hank Aaron, gold glove. Oh, good, we got a guy there. <laughs> 556 with two home runs, three RBI. Look at this guy, 429 with a homer and three. Good for you. Just as many RBI and a darn good average and half as many home runs. Pretty good, kid. Tip of the cap to him. I know it's early, but still. Anyway, so that's how things are looking. Um, yeah, I mean, next up, that's what we're looking at. So, kind of quiet today in chat, but that's okay. An hour and 49 minutes. Getting close to two hours. That should be long enough for these episodes. An hour and a half to two hours generally does the trick. So, uh, kind of a rough start. But again, I realize that we, uh, we're not on a very good batting team. Now, the power looks like it's there. Really good pitching. But... Knowing, and you look, runs scored. Yeah, we do not have good runs scored. We are the worst in our division. Runs allowed, though, no question, the lowest. Everybody's in the 70s. We're not even at 50. So, a little bit of balance there. Four and six in our last ten. If that's an early sample, that's how I picture the year would be. Um, runs allowed, geez, 48, though. I mean, I seriously need to look at that. Like, Can we look? Can I sort it by this number? Maybe not. Okay, 43. And they're pretty good. Might not be the lowest, but darn if we're not one of the best. Alright, 43 in all the American League? 
40, there's a 50, and yeah, nobody in the 40, everybody at least in the 50s. And the Indian's right there really low at 50. 53 looking good. Wow, we. Yeah, see, 48. Cardinals and Pirates. Uh, Cardinals and Pirates, top two wild card teams. Let's see, runs allowed. You don't score as much as the Cubs. 85. Let's see, for 62, like that's. You know, let me look at that really quick. Uh, statistics. Team rankings. So, batting average, um, Cubs number six. Are we, we're the worst batting average team in the league. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's that. That's a complete change. At-bats, second fewest. Runs. Oh, sorry. At-bats, the Cubs are middle of the pack, 15th. Uh, runs, they are second. We, 20th in the lower half. Hits. Cubs are 9th. We are the worst. Wow. Doubles. Cubs, mm, upper half. We are near the bottom again. Triples. Maybe not the strong suit for the Cubs. Middle of the pack-ish. We are the worst. We don't have a triple yet. Home runs. The Cubs are first. Well, we're not at the bottom bottom, but we're 20th. Near the, near the bottom half. RBI. Cubs are second. We are bottom half. Stolen bases, maybe not their thing. Oh, we're eh, just just past the middle. Cubs are lower than us. Caught stealing. Again, that, I'm not so concerned. Base on balls, uh, Cubs are seventh. As far as a discipline type number. We are near the bottom. <laughs> Strikeouts, uh, fifth fewest. Cubs near the bottom. So that's just them. And again, I know you get more at bats, you get more tries, you will strike out more, just based on the averages, I suppose. Slugging percentage. Cubs are first, we are tied for worst. <laughs> on base percentage, Cubs are fourth, we are just above tied for worst. Total bases, Cubs are first, we are the worst. Plate appearances, Cubs near the middle. We are next to worst. That's a big stretch too. 552 is not good. 531 is way less. Grounded into double plays, whatever. That's you know they don't do that much because they strike out. We kind of do a lot. Assist, putouts, errors. <laughs> errors. That's what I gotta check. Errors 10. We shouldn't have any. Well, sorry, at least when I'm out there. <clears throat> Fielding percentage. Cubs, I'd say, are decent. Probably middle of the road. We're better than them. ERA, fifth. Cubs? Eh, okay, okay. They're sixth. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're starting hot. Complete games. We're both up there. Shutouts. Maybe not so much for them. Saves. Leading the league. Leading all of baseball. <clears throat> Blown saves. I well, feel bad for Colorado. Oof. I mean, we're right there. We're tied the same thing as the Cubs. Hits allowed. Third field. But they're doing good, too. And they're eighth. Runs allowed second. Earn runs. Yeah, yeah. So, we're, we're a really good batting team. We're not a good uh, hitting team whatsoever. So... Oh, uh, yeah, let's keep it on. What was it click clicking for? You see that? Thank you. Thank you for that. So, yeah, Giants here. We are 7 and 8, just below 500. We're kind of what I thought we would be. And it's early, but let's see if we can. Oh, hold on. Auto shut down. That's not happening. Shut down disabled. Um, if anything I do off camera, I might go with that two seamer. Uh, maybe I up my stealing. By the way, got some Undertale music in the back, so if that's weirding you out, it is weird. Um, and I want to switch my uh, my perks. You know, my, my teammates will commit any errors. Well, that's garbage. We've seen that with the Cubs. We've seen that now with the Giants. And even, like, throwing error, that throw to first base, the guy lazily walking to first base, and just, uh, well, that shot over to third, they said was an error. I thought maybe a hit. They said it was an error. And that's fielding. 
of the guy sliding trying to catch it at his hip and it was way out in front of his feet. That's a fielding error. Didn't count as one, but I think it should have been. That was not a hit. Not so much. If anything, you kick save it and you stop it with your foot. You pick it up and you throw it and he's out, no worry. That's just me, but um, if anything, those might happen off camera, but that's going to be it for now. So quick swig of coffee for the gamer guys and girls out there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and all that being said, MJ signing out for now. Till we meet again, everybody. I don't know when or where that's exactly going to take place, and I'm not totally sure what game we'll be playing the next time you and I cross paths specifically, but all I do know is that I will indeed catch you down the road.